Malaysia is not fully ready to transition to the endemic phase of COVID-19. The Parliament's Health Science and Innovation Committee believes that there are certain parameters that should be met first before transitioning from pandemic to endemic safely and sustainably. We speak to its chairman, Dr. Kelvin Yee, on what to look out for. I think in order for us to transition fully and safely to endemicity, I think there are a few parameters that we need to observe. Uh, and especially to ensure that the rate of active cases are not too high and that it burdens the public health care system. So I think there are some major health rate, uh, health parameters that we observe. For example, the infection rate per 100,000. I think currently we are out at 1.8 per 100,000. I think a good target will be 1.5 per 100,000 or even hospitalization, hospital capacity, uh, especially for hospitalization for CAT3 and CAT2, CAT5. Uh, patients, uh, backlog of non-COVID-19 cases in hospitals. I think currently we have about 57,000, which is a lot of backlog cases. And of course, IC rates in Malaysia right now, uh, I think IC rates are about 66% overall. I think a good rate to look at would be about 30% or below uh, before uh, we transition. So you see all these health parameters, uh, health capacity has to be monitored and the trend has to be looked at, especially now in view of the lessening of the restrictions in the districts, in the state travels. And uh, once the parameters I mentioned is achieved, only then, then we are safe to transition safely and also sustainably so that we do not open up, then close down again, and so and so forth, which is not, which comes at a very huge economic cost. Increasing our public health capacity is one of the necessary steps to take for the country to fully transition to living with COVID-19 as an endemic disease. Dr. Kelvin Yee outlines measures the government can explore. I think number one is uh, all parties must be involved. This has to be a whole of government, whole of nation approach. Um, we made the mistake, that mistake in the past years, which lead to, I mean, the, the whole pandemic going out of control and uh, the government must learn from that mistake to involve all. I think the second one is uh, basically, as I mentioned just now, increase uh, public health capacity uh, to make sure that FTTIS is integrated with technology to make sure it's efficient, increasing ICU capacities, and of course, having a comprehensive uh, national testing strategy, which is very, very important for this transition. And for this national testing strategy to happen, of course, two main things has to happen the self-test kits prices have to come down significantly. Um, and number two, the government must find ways to incentivize people to report their test results on my structure, even if it's uh, negative. Uh, the third issue is, of course, um, integration of technology to improve my structure, which is supposed to be our main uh, identif hotspot identification, uh, contact tracing, notifications, even home quality monitoring to make sure there's speed and scale and equity uh, principle of it. And of course, number four is uh, basically strategic communications to the public to make sure public understands what it means to live with endemicity and to build up a strong public social responsibility, uh, when, which is important uh, during endemic COVID-19.